I heard that she was sick. Yeah, I heard that not leading up to the situation. I just heard the play-by-play -play of the day that the situation happened. A 47-year-old dying from pneumonia sounds crazy. Right. Especially someone who is has means to the best doctors and everything else like that. I can imagine if some homeless person dies of pneumonia. I get it. Right. But someone who has access to the best hospitals, the best doctors, to die from pneumonia sounds crazy. Right. A few days ago, Vlad interviewed Roger Bonds, discussed the passing of Kim Porter, noting that it occurred two years after an incident at the Intercontinental, which we've all seen after the famous BBC hotel video footage leak. Roger Bonds, known for his candid commentary and insights, gained prominence in the entertainment industry through his association with figures like Diddy. His perspectives, often shared in interviews and media appear personal anecdotes and industry observations. He mentioned how Kim had flu-like symptoms before suddenly succumbing to lobar pneumonia at the age of 47, which struck him considering she was younger than him. Reflecting on the time, Bonds mentioned he wasn't around much then as he was with Siroc, but still somewhat in the loop. He recalled hearing about Kim's illness, but only learned the specifics of her condition on the day she passed away. He shared how shocked he was at someone with Kim's resources, having access to top doctors and hospitals, dying from pneumonia. Pneumonia. Regarding Diddy, Bonds mentioned not seeing him regularly after Kim's death, but recalled speaking to one of Kim's close friends who shared insights. According to Bonds, the friend dismissed rumors of a tell-all book, clarifying that Kim was actually writing a children's book. Bonds emphasized that Kim wanted her children to have financial independence from Diddy. Bonds doubted Diddy's involvement and believed that despite their tumultuous relationship, Diddy genuinely loved Kim. Gene Deal respected the information Roger Bonds shared about Kim Porter. Before the interview, Bonds mentioned that Dallas Austin's daughter had been at Kim's house on the day she passed away. He noted that the paperclip party had broken the story based on details from Kim's father, who had mentioned it in the police report. According to Bonds, Dallas Austin's daughter, a friend of Kim's, left the house around 8 a.m., and Kim made a 911 call at 2.15 a.m. Bonds didn't know the specifics of the call, but relayed that Kim's father identified Dallas Austin's daughter as the last person to see Kim alive. Gene inquired further about Kim's condition, recalling reports of blood on the pillow and bruises, and expressed his belief that the case needed to be reopened due to the suspicious circumstances. Bonds refrained from speculating on the cause of Kim's death, but remarked that, given her financial status, it seemed unlikely she would succumb to pneumonia without medical intervention. When asked directly if he believed Kim had been murdered, Bonds indicated his suspicion of foul play due to unexplained details, such as missing belongings and bloodstains. Alluded to potential motives related to individuals in the industry harboring secrets, suggesting that revealing these secrets could put lives at risk. Bonds concluded by hinting at the complexity and potential danger surrounding the circumstances of Kim Porter's death. People definitely believe that this whole situation needs a second chance. Like this person who said, Kim Porter case need to be reopened. Definitely foul play, even if little.